it's totally amazing to get to know our restful nature. It's the best. And um, to get to know the true nature of our mind, to get to know the true freedom that's available to us in every single moment of being human. Simply the fact <laughs> of being here, fact of being human, fact of being aware <laughs> right now. Something that we can all agree on, all aware, right? All aware of this moment in its completeness. Nothing missing from this here and now as it is. And getting to know this, this completeness about ourselves, getting to know the restful nature of our mind gives us um, an empowerment and a freedom in life, one that I never knew was possible. And being able to navigate through life situations and uh, be open to spontaneous solutions with uh, great ease and immediacy. You know, it's something when we, when we come to this center, when we're in this environment, um, you know, anything can happen, or anything can happen in life. And I've just seen for myself the very best way to approach any of those situations is in a disposition of complete rest and relaxation. It's just uh, the very best for me and the very best for everyone else involved. And that this disposition of complete rest and relaxation is available to us in every single moment of life. It's actually the, the very fundamental nature of our mind is already completely at rest. It's already totally relaxed. Everything is arising and resolving in complete relaxation. All of our perceptions and experiences, all our data streams, everything is just, uh, yeah, already completely restful. Now, the, the troubling side for me was always my own, um, my own thoughts about a situation, my own descriptions, and the emphasis I placed upon it. So in any given situation, I could describe it any way I wanted. And these descriptions had a lot of power, and can have a lot of power for us, and a lot of weight. You know, it was how I'd learned to use my mind to look at my descriptions, look at my thoughts, essentially, think about my thoughts, think about situations, uh, determine how I was doing or other people were doing according to whether they were, I deemed it as positive or negative. And then um, try to fix the negative thoughts into positive ones, you know, just try to get positive situations. This is what we're, this is the, the game <laughs> that I was playing anyway. And so, being introduced to something about me that's completely stable and open and clear in every single moment, regardless of what is arising, started to open up a life of great clarity, openness and stability, and responsiveness moment by moment, and ability to be with myself, ability to be with my own thoughts and emotions in an easeful, relaxed and powerful way. This was new. I was running scared from my own mind. I was running scared from what might come up, you know, if it would be a feeling of anger <coughs> or annoyance, you know, anger or annoyance about a friend. These were thoughts and emotions I didn't want to have because they don't fit within the realm of friendship. <laughs> you know that bracket, friendship has, and then everything associated with that word friendship has only nice feelings, the nice ones. If the, ba if the horrible ones come in, I'm either I'm doing something wrong or someone else is doing something wrong and it requires like this of action stations of like eliminate eliminate that negative get rid of it you know <laughs> or get rid of the friend you know replace the friend <laughs> and find a new friend because then I won't have these thoughts and emotions or get my friend to stop doing that thing just get them to stop even texting me because then I won't feel this feeling now this is such a limited way to live to try to stop ourselves feeling our feelings, wow, that is, I'm sorry, but whose who's game is that? Who made that up? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because that is impossible. It's impossible. But that's really what I was doing. I was trying not to feel what I was feeling. I was an immediate assault. Like There was a threat from the next thought or emotion. Like, oh, what, what's it going to be? Or, okay, now I'm feeling... Or, or feeling so, the other, the other approach is feeling so justified in my thoughts and emotions. That was another protection mechanism. I'm so justified, I'm so right, these thoughts are so right, and everyone else is wrong. <coughs> so this, this, this opposition, this sort of 
um, extreme stances that I was taking in my own experience brought about a great, n not a feeling of relaxation, not a feeling of ease, not a feeling of settledness and rootedness in myself as being a human being, able to approach every life situation with stability, empowerment and ease. I felt like I was on a rickety raft, like not knowing what's going to come up next in this random display of my mind and feeling like I needed to defend myself against it or attack it to get rid of it. Now this mode of being is, is, is yeah, it's, it's very um, stressful. <laughs> and then if this is what's going on inside of me and then how that's playing out in my relationships and my family and my community and my workplace and then we look at the world and we see what's going on. No wonder, no wonder. Human beings running scared from their own mind, what are they doing to each other? So when, when receiving, when coming to the Balance You training for the first time in my life, I received an education in the nature of my mind. An education in the true nature of my mind. Getting to know what was really going on. Rather than running away from these um, momentary appearances, thoughts and emotions and descriptions and ideas and concepts and giving them so much power, giving them a power over me, giving them a power to make me act in ways I didn't want to act. And, um, and finding instead that there is, there is a great clarity, a stability, a power of mind available in every single moment of my intelligence, my very own intelligence, accessible to me, accessible to all human beings. And it's found within this current moment, within the thoughts and emotions, within whatever we're experiencing, not by getting rid of them. <coughs> the great empowerment I've always been seeking is within my experience as it is. How amazing. How amazing. And so what we get introduced to here is open intelligence. Your intelligence. It's available right now. Or awareness as it can also be known. And to introduce yourself to open intelligence, you just stop thinking for a moment. And notice what remains. Clarity, alertness, cognizance, open intelligence that's open like a vast sky. Vast intelligence with no limit, not limited to this, head, body, body, mind, complex. <laughs> not limited, not limited at all. Openly perceiving everything, openly perceiving all perceptions, all data streams, thoughts, emotions, experiences, everything arising in the vast space of open intelligence. This is what is accessible to you and you can recognize open intelligence for a short moment. Repeated again and again until open intelligence is continuously obvious all of the time. And this is a, a cause for great celebration because we don't need to be trying to change our mind anymore. We don't need to be trying to change our thoughts and emotions because we can access open intelligence in any given moment, in a short moment within the current thought and emotion, within the current magnificent display as it is. And what we get to know is we see that the data streams, they're inseparable from open intelligence. You know, they're the, the dynamic expression of our intelligence, continuously changing, continuously shining forth and resolving back into open intelligence, whatever it might be. If it's the frustration of, of you know, it's frustration of, about our friend, frustration of having lost something. Um, what else do we... <laughs> And physical sensations and illness, everything arising and resolving, all of these perceptions, all of these experiences, data streams arising and resolving in open intelligence. You know, the, the data there, like, they're inseparable from open intelligence, like the breeze in the air, like the breeze is the dynamic energy of air, but where does the breeze begin and where does it end? It's just in this open expanse of space, the same as with all our experiences all pervaded by open intelligence. So in short moments, we align ourselves with the true reality of our mind. We shift our focus from 
for me, feeling forever busy with the contents of my mind, forever trying to fix it up, to look the right way, expending all of my energy in that way, into a mode of complete relaxation and settledness in our own being, as we are, as a human being, as a human being with a body, when we notice it, <laughs> as a human being, as open intelligence, indivisible from everything and everyone. That's our true nature. Where is the separation in anything? We can make up a, a lot of stories about it, but in one short moment of complete openness, we recognize reality as it is. And from this disposition, from this place of relaxed openness, then, you know, look, solutions spontaneously arise. Solutions spontaneously arise. And when we don't know what to do, that's also fine. I mean, that relaxa relaxation, that depth of relaxation and not knowing or not having an ideal situation. You know, before I would have occupied myself and probably punished myself and others for not having an ideal situation, you know, and then more and more just in the relaxation of open intelligence, even not ideal, that data stream too is okay. You know, all is well within that and still we're open to solutions. You know, what could come along rather than being so busy with my thoughts and emotions, more just available and open to see. And same in relationship. Wow, that is a revolution to feel hatred for a friend. <laughs> this is world peace. This is world peace right there, to feel raging hatred and relax completely. And see that the nothing severs the connection that's already the case, that's built into every moment of open intelligence. And that nothing, nothing marks or dampens down, there is no condition on our love. And in allowing that data stream to be as it is, really allowing it to be as it is, not just a little bit. <laughs> now this is the thing, because like, <coughs> this is why the form, the, so balance view, this is why it's so important. It offers support for us to get to know these data streams. Our power, our power to be of benefit, offers teachings, trainings, a trainer, community, a practice, the practice of short moments, to really get to know our power in our everyday life. There's an incredible t teaching called the Twelve Empowerments, which really, you know, systematically takes us through all aspects of our life to get to know the opportunity to rely on open intelligence, to get to know open intelligence as our greatest power in that situation. And, um, and for me, seeing resting with those data streams that I've taken to be the very worst and taking the support, this is where love opens up that I never imagined, you know, love and clarity and ability to be in relationships. So I'm so grateful for those data streams. I'm so grateful for those friends and relationships where that comes up. Otherwise, I'd never have the opportunity to experience that. And this is how I was living my life before, keeping everything so nice. You know that? It's nice. It's <laughs> like, oh. God, it's so, it's so like damped down. It's so dumbed down. It's so unhuman like trying to keep everything like shiny nice and like, you know, like in that presentation to the world. Now get, get real, get real about being human and everything that we feel and seeing how fully we can feel and how within that open intelligence is unmarked, like a clear, pristine sky, wide open, unaffected. And the data streams, they become our beneficial power, our pure wisdom. This is what they are. And it's important that we get to know this about ourselves. Very important as human beings to no longer live with an old way of using our mind that disempowers us and others. So this is what Balance View offers, is the opportunity to power up our life, you know, in a, in a very real way, get to see our capacity to be of benefit in our relationships, to love fully, to show up fully, to not be running scared anymore from our own thoughts and emotions or any, anybody else's.